So we have had some questions about our stop loss placements on gold. What we would say is at the time of this video being filmed, gold is sort of fluctuating between $1,200 and $1,300 per ounce. If we are going to trade gold, we would always risk at least 10 points. So if we was to buy, let's say, at $1,200 per ounce, our stop loss would be at least below $1,190. You must risk that amount on a market like that because of the swings. Other things that we look for when placing stop losses, especially if you are a day trader on the S&P 500, gold, FTSE, things like that, is look at maybe the two hour chart and identify all of the horizontal buy lines. Now what we might do if we thought that gold was going to go up throughout the day, we would look to buy on a buy line. We would identify the next buy line down. It depends on how the daily chart looks. You may want to stick your stop loss below the second buy line down, or you may want to stick a stop loss just below a third buy line down. It really does depend on what has happened and how the volatility is. You need to identify where the main support is, because if that main support is breached, then gold will be short sold and you will see stop losses get hit, which means more selling, liquidation of long positions and more people turning to the short side, so you would expect more downside. So when you do put your stop loss in, always think where is everyone else's stops going to be? Because if the price gets in that area, you're going to see more selling. But always bury your stop loss a little distance below buy lines.